Surely happiness can be found Surely there's someone for me Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares? For me Good to see you, Hunter. We're playing Call of the Wild. Finally, the game has been released. And I wanted to spare you with a few of the beginning thingies that happened. There's a lot of talking from the game warden. There's a lot of stuff that is being told. I've started my game in Hirschfelden. And this is where I'm going to start. So I'm going to quickly tell you all the things that I've done so far. Going to turn off the music, turn down the sound a little bit. So let's have a quick look at the map. This is Hirschfelden. It's a huge map. And you can see something like the fog of war. So this is about where I've been walking around so far. Just to explore a little bit. I have unlocked a tower. And I have unlocked an outpost actually here. This is where I'm standing right now. So I'm starting here at this outpost. And only one more thing I've done is I have accepted a mission from Connie, which is to track, shoot and harvest an animal. The only thing I've done was really to track it. I've not yet shot any animals. I wanted to show you quickly here the uh, the stash with the weapons. So if you're interested what type of weapons they have, these are the rifles and you can see you need a certain amount of, you need a certain level and XP's so that you can even buy them. Just the money alone will not do it. These are the rifles. We have handguns, shotguns, and bows and from our previous experience we, w we know that at least I'm not going to shoot a bow without a sight there's all the ammo and let's see actually I've shot a few bullets I'll tell you later at what I actually shot it's pretty funny let me buy some more of these they cost zero so I should be all set again and then there's handgun, shotgun, and bow ammo, if you will. There's arrows. Down below we have all the sights, all the colors, consumables, clothing, scents, and more sophisticated binoculars. Although I think this binocular that we have in the standard is pretty good. So let's see, I'm, I need to make sure that I actually equip the ammo. Oh, now it's fixed, so I pull this over the site and I should be equipped. With the middle mouse key you can just remove and add the site. So let's get going. The goal is here to shoot our first animal. One thing that's important to know is that holding breath is the shift key. Where are you? We have a call. And I missed it. Let's just keep going. So when I aim and I hit shift, I can hold the breath. Auto walk is on the G key. And the Q key is for something else. It's for switching between items. So if I hit Q here, it's switching items. The tricky part is this is not in the key bindings. I didn't find this in the key bindings. So don't go and set auto walk to Q. Otherwise, it will it'll trigger both things all the time. What do we have? We have a warning call from a road here. And while I'm crouching forward, I'll show you something else. You can go in the menu. And one thing you want to do is 
uh, it's under settings game there's aim toggle you want to turn that on because otherwise you have to keep pressing the mouse button to keep the weapon or the binos up so turn on aim toggle it's going to be helpful I uh, think the mi uh, the missions is F6. Nope, let's see, F5. So locate a track is what I've done already. Shoot an animal, harvest an animal. This is Connie giving us these uh, missions. I'm walking around like I'm gonna strangle someone with my hands up. This is kind of weird. This is not how I would <laughs> crouch through the woods. Another thing that I've noticed is that the sound meter is always, almost always maxed. If you look in the ro lower right, there's the sound meter and it's maxed right now. I'm crouching. There Go should be a track nearby. Going back right now, but then it's going to max again. So yes, this is the track. What's a bit weird right now is on the hunter made map, I don't have much information. I just have brown land. There's another animal calling, the red fox. However, I would want to get to that road here. So this is just a little help of how you can find tracks. It's not going to do this on every single track. This might be the road here from before. One thing I found is if you crouch around Sneak around looking for animals. This can take a very long time. It's actually easier if you just walk or even run. And then when you spook the animal, just crouch after the spooked animal. They don't run very far. So this guy is making a warning call. See if we can locate it here. Very thick vegetation. Maybe you want to call again. So this is actually a lot harder to stalk animals here in the thick vegetation than in the Hunter Classic. Especially with the sound being dynamic depending on your surface that you're walking on. Just looking out in the open. So it's right here somewhere. It's well possible that it's going to run away right here in front of me. Where are you? There it is. There's a road here. And it says trivial. It's very close. Wow, that is trivial.
bleeding, so that's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone far. I will. Flesh wound just now is the info that I'm getting. Here's more blood. Bleed rate very low. So even though I've shot it from really close, I've only shot it with the 243, but I would think for a road deer that should be sufficient. I have to say tracking is not as fluent. They haven't really fixed this. It's not easy to pick up the track always. This is trotting. So the wound animal, wounded animal is trotting. I would expect it to run like hell. Of course the angle wasn't ideal. Shooting it from behind. This is pretty loud. I'm just going to walk after it. And I would expect it to be dead somewhere. If I don't get stuck. Is that you? Are you telling me I have to shoot you twice? One thing that's different, which is, is disturbing me a little bit, is if you have a calling animal, you don't know whether that's the animal that you're tracking. Wow, wha what was that sound? Did that road just run into a chainsaw or what? Or maybe it's Bigfoot. Making a vacation in Europe. Oh, there's the blue track again. Thanks. You are kidding. Come on. Whoa, there's... <laughs> there's fallow deer. Lots of fallow deer. Now I wonder if I should shoot one of those from the side. And not bother with the road deer. This one from the front. Oops, don't hit the space bar. <laughs> wow, the sound was there again. Very weird. All right, come on, what have we shot? There's a track here. 
Can I? Fallow deer just now. All right, which one's bleeding? It was standing about here, right? Wasn't it? So I would expect a blood track for one of these. Wild shooting at the deer. Losing the roe deer and now not finding the fallow deer. I think that's pretty interesting that this fallow deer is still running. Not seeing any blood tracks. guys let's re recap we've shot it about here where's the blood where is the blood they were all standing here Orchestra doesn't have to do much with this one. Just a little ping. Which is nice, but I'm looking for a blood track. Can you believe I'm not finding it? Well, I have another option. If there is seriously no blood track... Then either I follow the fallow... Or the roe deer. We also shot the roe deer, which never died. At least not so far. And now I have a big mess with the tracks on my screen is one of these the road here well one thing I can show you while I'm looking for a track here and eventually to shoot a deer what the heck is this Down goes the bird, but you cannot pick it up. There's nothing there when you go there. I'm checking the map here. I go back into the deepest woods. The purple spot here means the pressure zone. There is animals. Not likely returning here. But hey, I would think I should have a blood track here and I don't. This is kind of weird. Oh, there you go. Finally found it. Ugh. So. Fleet rate, very low.
Did it really take a left here? There it goes, so I'll go back to walking. Let's see, we had a number of blood tracks on the road here. And now shooting the fallow deer from 15 meters right in the chest. And I have to go find it. Well, I'll unveil a bit more of the map, I guess. Why is this one coming out? Hello. Is this a recent track now? Or is this an old track? I wonder at if at some point... Oh, it's new. At some point you can actually tell the age of the tracks. I don't know if there's a skill or something for that. If you know if there's a skill for track age, please post below the video. We're all happy to learn something new. So I turned around. And then was likely fleeing again. But they're all fleeing together. There's a lot of tracks together here. So this should help me find it. So there's a lot more bleeding on a bad shot that there is in classic. I have constantly blood spots. Why do I feel I have to bend over to pick up these tracks? If I just walk like that, it works. If you just hammer the E key, eventually you'll pick up the track just in the right moment. They're all running in the same direction. Th so the fleeing behavior is pretty interesting here. They all stay together. This is the rain. Wow, shooting our first animal. What a task. Can you believe this? So since they're all together, we can expect some call soon, I would think. But look at the area here. This is really difficult to hunt. I wonder if I should, should just uh, chase them out of this. So we keep getting blood tracks. I don't know if the animal will eventually die from this. So 
So if you just walk like that, you can just nicely hit the E key. It's not too hard. If you don't feel like you need to bend over. No, this one I missed. <laughs> well, okay, maybe a bit of fine tuning here. to get out of this this is not gonna work so lots of tracks going left and right hopefully I'm following the latest Walking all over the place, north, south. I don't think I, I'll find this fallow deer. I don't even know which track to follow. One is going north, one is going south. And I have no indication which is newer. So I will try this red deer. Red deer. Is that a warning card from a red deer? Interesting. Checking the map here quickly. I'm not too far north actually. Yet I'm getting a red deer warning call. So we've shot the row, it didn't die. We shot the fallow deer, it didn't die. And now I'm going after the big red deer. Not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> well, maybe we can see a red deer. There's a red deer. Wow, nice antlers. I will just do this. If it happens to turn around, I'll try a shot. But quite honestly, I'm not very confident anymore that this is going to be successful. There's my red deer way too far away. Oh, there's two of them.
Can one maybe turn around again? There is no way I can shoot this with this gun. Absolutely, I don't know. I would have to have a super lucky shot. Look how far it is. Much further away than the road deer was. And the fallow deer. And it's either facing me or giving me the backside. Yes! Yes! I shot the red deer! I've shot the red deer! Go away now! Wow, the interface. Anyway, I've shot the red deer. Am I running? Can you believe this? Fallow deer was much closer, roe deer was much closer. Yet, I've shot a roe deer from the distance, a red deer from the distance. And I will happily pick this up and then hopefully finalize this first mission. Connie's gonna be very happy. Here is the huge plot spot. Let's see what this one says. Ah, oh. bleed rate there high. There it is, your first Hirschfelden trophy. Go ahead and harvest it. I will! 1200 I'm getting, plus 563 in score. Let's see what it says there. Quick kill bonus 100, integrity 100 with this gun. I hit the neck. That's the, that's the secret. Go for the neck. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Hey, this is great. We've got our first kill. Accept. Oh, I accept this. Oh, yes. Great. Excellent. So we've managed the first harvest and this is going to include our first hunting experience here in Hirschfelden. Thanks for watching.